Hello and thanks for watching another Somerset Real Ale review. Uh, got here a beer from um, Odell Brewing Company in America. It's their red ale. Um, very intrigued about this. I really love red ales, um, so um, I'm very excited to get into this. Just looking to see where it actually. Odell Brewing Company, Fort Collins, CO, and I'm not sure of where that is in the states, um, but. Um, yeah, we're just uh, I'm sure we can Google it, or it might be on the, on the bottle actually. Um, 12 fluid ounces, which I believe is 330 mils, I'm not entirely sure. 6.5% um, ABV. I'll give you a little show of the bottle first before I pop it open. So you can see what's written on there, hopefully it'll focus in. Um, I don't know whether it's bottle conditioned this. So I'll pause it, you can sort of if you're on a laptop you'll have to turn the screen <laughs> um, yeah but a really lovely looking bottle um, I've got this from Courts of Cotham in Bristol so <clears throat> they're a good little shop worth very worth looking at it was £3.49 for this bottle which is pretty dear Crown has got a price label on it, it has got a pretty picture under there but um, a little bit of smoke on the opening yeah, it is quite dear, but you know, I believe you got to pay uh, a decent price for decent beers, uh, a good price for decent beers. So I don't feel uh, well. I see what it tastes like, but uh, getting a nice head on this. Hopefully, this should all fit in. Normally, the three thirties do fit in this wine glass quite nicely. It's a half a litre wine glass, so should go in there just about. I don't think it's bottle conditioned. I haven't checked. It's a bit late now because I poured it all in. No, it's not bottle conditioned. Um, right. Tiny bit of carbonation stream from the bottom. That is a lovely sort of red, sort of coppery, dark sort of orange sunset red. That looks beautiful. It's kind of that this colour over this side in the light that you can see there. Um, Looks lovely anyway, it looks quite quite cloudy, but um, that doesn't bother me. I don't mind a unfiltered, unpasteurised beer. I think that's what a beer should be. Uh, it's got a sort of toffee coloured, one and a half finger, really lovely, creamy sort of Mr. Whippy ice cream head. Let's get the nose in. Oh, <laughs> I haven't had a good IPA for ages. And now it's got that good, really strong, sweet, grapefruity, really beautiful sort of nose on that. Slightly spicy. I'll try and stir it up. Maybe a bit of strawberry in there. lovely sweet and fruity and a nice sort of bitter sort of really ripe grapefruit and oh, that smells beautiful I'm gonna have to dig into this cheers everyone It's got a very smooth, creamy mouthfeel on it. Flows down. Nice and bitter, dries your mouth out towards the end. It's more sweet than um, than bitter. Not really getting any grapefruit on the taste. Really getting that sort of strawberry flavour in there, many mellow strawberries, um, sweet, sweet sort of rich strawberry in there. Um, also tastes a bit sort of caramelly um, and slightly boozy as well. You slightly get a slight alcohol burn on it. Um, it is sort of a sipper, but
but as you can see it's going down really easily it's very very easy to drink this uh, the Rocky Mountain goat is no ordinary goat oh, I'll let you uh, no ordinary red all oh, right just like Odell red is no ordinary red we took the American red style to a whole new level by adding a variety of aggressive American hops given this distinctive fresh hop aroma and flavor we think you'll agree this red hell has some serious kick the only problem is with this um, if you see, look on the bottom there, the date, it goes out of date, I think you can see that, um, the 1st of October this year. Pardon me. Well, it's actually um, the 6th or 7th of October today, maybe even the, even the 8th. So it's got less than a month left on it, and I think it, it, this could have done with being a lot fresher. I think I would have got a lot more hoppy notes on it. Uh, it's just got a load of government warnings. Um, odellbrewing.com uh, there's no taste notes or anything on there um, but that's a lovely bottle it's sort of like an old sort of like a newspapery type of old-fashioned uh, bottle uh, um, label looks really nice that I really like it but you can sort of sense that it did have more flavor to it it's slightly lacking um, I think for the price, £3.49, I, I have kept this too long. I should have drank it straight away. I've had it for about six weeks, and I think I, I, I shot myself in the foot there. I think I should have drank it straight away. But um, it is entirely, it is really drinkable. Um, you see the quality of it just by the lacing on the side of the glass there. Um, it's a nice beer, I think. It's definitely worthy of a 7 out of 10, um, but for 6.5% um, and, and what it's claiming on the side there, I, I think it, it could be better when it's fresher, but um, it's still a really nice drink. It's a really poppable ale, that. Um, yeah, so 7 out of 10 for the Odell Red Ale. Um, thanks so much for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box and always reply to your comments. And I hope you join me again soon for another review. Cheers.